Can I with you? What? ACP, do you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. Just take the phone. Look. You got some weed? Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the share, subscribe if you haven't already and make sure your notifications are on all are we noticing what's going on on the internet? As I mentioned in my previous video on the topic, it's very clear a lot of people who have gone from wanting to break this story, as they say, to doing a whole lot of interfering with the judicial process when it comes to putting information out there that we come to find out isn't valid. Like take the news that's out now that this lady Dejanay has been arrested and everybody skips the fact that look at the source people are referencing. Then I want you to go to a different search engine and look for that same information on a different source. Now, the first thing people will say is that, well, we saw it online. We saw it from this article. But guess what? Every article you read ain't valid. I myself have been placed in an article. And what does that article mean? Not a goddamn thing. clearly got people more interested in trying to get clicks and views than actually presenting solid information for people to keep the topic at hand at the forefront instead of involving themselves in an obvious now, As I previously said in my last video, it would be clear that the news has made it very obvious that a lot of information has been floating around this internet that ain't true and a lot of it came from the same people that wants to come around and bring new information so everybody should just listen to this information with the side eye considering it just continues to elaborate the point that there is obvious corruption that common sense should tell you should be investigated across the board instead of just focusing on the friends for example and not looking at the whole picture it's like with the Kanika situation. Everybody knows that her friends had to have some involvement with that situation. Yet it don't take a genius to recognize they don't have the pull to master all the cover-up we've seen put on display. So as everybody ran with this news that this lady has been arrested and forgot that there's a whole lot of information that Chronicle Speaks had put out there when it came to the extra process, the fact that she didn't see any records indicating this arrest had been made, and that clearly, even if this girl had been arrested, does that change the fact that people are coming out here making it obvious there's clear corruption involved in this case? Stop and ask yourself, with this type of case, why would this investigative journalist find it necessary to bring all this exclusive information to YouTube? Never mind all these official broadcasting agencies they could take this, especially with the implications he's making about corruption. Now, with all that said, that doesn't take the focus off of all these people who ran to the Internet trying to get ahead of the information. And as the news pointed out, we saw fraudulent accounts emerge. And that's something very similar we saw with the case against Robert Kelly, in which a lot of people wanted to ignore as they were so deeply entertained. So from my vantage point, do I believe this girl was detained? It's possible, but the matter is, why isn't it 
common knowledge for people to wait for official documentation to run with that. Chronicle Speaks, for example, does excellent in providing receipts and documentation for the things she presents. So again, when she mentioned that she doesn't see a record of this so-called arrest, I think that should be something that everybody mentioned in their clickbait videos. Okay. Now, something that should be talked about more is the fact that according to this so-called investigative journalist, these people clearly fudge this girl's time of death. And if you recall, when this first broke, they said this young lady passed away 15 minutes after her injury. And then you had all these people fabricating their versions of what happened. Just keep that in mind as you continue to listen to what this man is now saying and how they fabricated her time of death to fit a certain narrative. So granted, Everybody saying they want justice for Shanquala. Let's just keep in mind, even if this girl is detained, that ain't the end. That don't change the fact that there's more people accountable for what happened to this young lady. So just keep that in the back of your mind. You know, the same way that people watch this whole case against Robert Kelly fall completely apart because of all this online activity that went on right in our face and then want to sit here and act brand new to the fact that people publicly interfered with this man's justice. He, he's already said, I, I know when I talked to Miss Bungeen, we were together in Santa Monica, she said he's written some songs that he, sung, that he sang to her um, that he has accepted that he's going to die there. He's accepted that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, Will there be an appeal? Oh, yes. Yeah, she's definitely filing an appeal, but do you know how long an appeal takes? You know, the difference, here's what happened. Here's what happened with Mr. Cosby. The reason why his appeal happened so quickly he did two years and 10 months, but he had a voice speaking for him. Yes. Okay. Who kept his story alive. R. Kelly has never had a voice to keep yeah. his story alive, to tell his story. Every day, I was Mr. Cosby's only visitor. Every day I visited, every, every time I visited him, I, I did a media interview talk about him when the prison was doing something egregious or duplicitous against him and against any other inmate. And I found out about it. Hey, I went straight to the media. Mm -hmm. And and, and that, that beat them at their game. I think, I think just, he had too many people, wrong people, wrong people who wanted to just get to know me. Okay, they wanted to get to me. They wanted to say that they were in in my presence, unfortunately. For their own personal reasons. And and, and, and for their own personal gains. And I started, they started giving me calls about their own problems and things they wanted. And these are people who were supposed to have been fighting for him. 